And now to a chilling scam that hit close to home for us here at 7 News. One of our newsroom staff was targeted in a ploy so deceptive it can drain you of your life savings in a flash. 7 News anchor and reporter Diane Lay brings us the important warning for home buyers. We're talking about one of the most damaging scams to date. Hackers targeting home buyers and making off with their down payments. Many have lost thousands, tens of thousands, even millions. The real estate scam so sophisticated, it's virtually impossible to detect. This is 7 News Live at 5. When Brittany Vollmer moved to the upstate to produce 7 News Live at 5 from behind the camera, she never imagined. You guys will have about 30 seconds for a chat here. She would soon be on camera with one of the most alarming scam stories we have ever told. I've been a producer for 10 years and I know that it can happen and I just, I didn't see the red flags. No one did. Not her realtor's office, not her real estate attorney's firm. Volmer and her fiance had been searching for a house for three months when they finally found their dream home. We knew that this is where we wanted to be. We were so excited. We both just fell in love with the house. A week before closing, she got this email. It appears to be from the law firm of Nelson and Galbraith, who would be representing her in the purchase. She sent me over a form. It was on their letterhead. It had the amount. It had the address. It had my bank information. It had the letterhead. It had everything. So I thought it was real. But the email document was a scam, a near perfect recreation of the document with the actual wiring instructions that the law firm sends out. The real one that arrived one day after Valma reported the scam to the law firm has a warning not to wire transfer funds to unknown parties because of recent reports. They had everything down to the penny. They had the exact amount that I was supposed to be sending for a down payment on the house. $102,071.90. She followed the instructions and wired the full amount and then called the law office to make sure it had been received. They transferred me to Katie Eisler, who I thought I was talking to. She answered the phone and said, I haven't emailed you once. My heart just dropped. I hung up the phone and immediately called Bank of America and told them that I needed to put a stop on a wire transfer. But it wasn't that easy. The funds had already been transferred to a different bank. That bank told her she could potentially be the scammer, so they couldn't help her. So after two hours of being on the phone with the bank and no one was helping me, they sent me to an email address that bounced back to me. I didn't know what to do, so I turned to my Seven News co-workers just to help me and try to point me in the right direction. The next step for Brittany was to reach out to the FBI. The agency says during the last fiscal year, victims lost or nearly lost about $1 billion to this down payment theft. That figure up explosively from 2016, where home buyers reported just $19 million in the wire transfer frauds. What are the red flags that people should know about? The red flags are definitely harder to find, but it starts with looking to see where that email came from. Whether you right click or hover over the the sender's address to see is it actually coming from the name and the person who I believe it to be. The only hope a wire transfer victim has in stopping that money from leaving the country is to contact the FBI within 72 hours. The sooner you do, the more likely the agency can issue what's called a financial fraud kill chain. Volmer called the agency within hours of sending the money. Her fraud case is still under investigation by the FBI, who's trying to determine where the breach occurred. Neither her realtor, Keller Williams Greenville Central, nor the law firm of Nelson and Galbraith would agree to be interviewed for this story. But the National Association of Realtors says all aspects of the housing market have become big targets for this type of fraud. Is this problem getting worse? Yes, the wire fraud scams are happening. They're becoming more prevalent. Um, they're not showing any signs of stopping. So any buyer in the marketplace ready to make a real estate transaction needs to know about this scam and know how to protect themselves from being the next victim. For the next five long, excruciating days, Vollmer didn't know whether she would be able to close on her dream house. And no one seems certain her down payment could be recovered. But that initial call to the FBI made in those early hours after the scam finally paid off. Two o'clock, I got the email that the funds were returned. And I immediately logged into my account to make sure it was there, and they were, and it was just the best feeling. But it all worked out in the end. But yeah, I'm pinching myself because it, it, it felt like a nightmare that I wouldn't wake up from, but I did. And we are still amazed that this ended like it did. That money was a gift from her grandmother when she passed away. The FBI says in many cases, victims never see their money again. Back to you.
What a situation. To report this scam, you can call your local FBI office. You also can file a complaint at ic3.gov.